The world is moving swiftly to green energy, and hydrogen is an energy source that is exploding with promise and appears to be far more feasible than other zero emission options. Even though it's not as popular as batteries, hydrogen is well known for its fuel cells, however the form used by an internal combustion engine is possibly not as well known. And although there have been prior attempts to create a hydrogen engine, JCB is the company that is pushing the engineering boundaries with this project. So how will the JCB engine really disrupt the EV industry? Before we get started, remember to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. With that's done, let's get started and don't touch that dial because we have some amazing details about JCB's new engine. JCB recently created a hydrogen powered internal combustion engine. This engine offers a zero emission alternative to battery electric cars and fuel cells. JCB is well aware of the challenges associated with electrifying an excavator or a backhoe loader because it produces heavy-duty gear. Bear in mind that the company's lineup includes a variety of electric and fuel cell devices that are operational, so it's not as if they haven't experimented with them at all. The British heavy equipment company believes that hydrogen engines have the potential to bridge the gap between the utilization of existing combustion technology and the maintenance of simplicity and affordability. In the most recent episode of Harry's Garage, JCB explains that their hydrogen technology is almost ready for production and will be the standard for all heavy machinery in the future. They say necessity is the mother of invention, and I believe that to be true. JCB was faced with the challenge of reducing its emissions without sacrificing power or the overall cost of its products. Lord Bamford, chairman of JCB, was a guest on an earlier episode of Harry's Garage. During that episode, he mentioned that passenger cars operate roughly 300 hours yearly. On the other hand, a standard heavy-duty backhoe would have operating hours that are close to 10 times higher than that amount. He goes on to say that in nations such as India, machines of this scale operate for at least 5,000 hours every year. Therefore, a substantially greater quantity of batteries is required to have electricity run industrial equipment for a minimum of 8 hours. Not only will it add an enormous amount of complexity to the situation, but it will also make the thing considerably heavier overall. The associated prices will also spike as a result. Because of this, engineers were required to think outside the box. To everyone's surprise, the JCB hydrogen engine was developed. Diesel fuel is currently used to power JCB machines. However, the engineers could run their engines using hydrogen fuel after significantly modifying them. According to JCB, the tailpipe emits nothing but steam and does not produce any CO2 when used. In addition, JCB asserts that their prototype backhoe loader, powered by this innovative hydrogen motor, can perform all of the same tasks as its diesel-powered counterpart. To construct the hydrogen engine, JCB started with the bottom half of the existing Diesel Max type. The sump, as well as the cylinder block and the cooling system, are identical to those found on the diesel-powered variant. In addition, the hydrogen engine still utilizes a conventional variable geometry turbo. The engine, however, is significantly different when viewed from the top. Both the cylinder head and the injection mechanism have been updated so that hydrogen gas can now be injected into the engine rather than diesel. Similarly, the diesel fuel tank has been removed and replaced with five storage vessels for hydrogen gas, each one weighing one kilogram and composed of aluminum and carbon fiber. Not only does the configuration continue to use already familiar components, but the amount of time required to refill with hydrogen is comparable to that of any conventional fuel. In addition to this, there is only a small rise in the cost of ownership and maintenance. Why don't we currently use hydrogen engines? A variety of factors contribute to the rarity of hydrogen engines compared to their counterparts that run on diesel or gasoline. In addition, the cost of hydrogen is high, and it's not yet considered a clean fuel. However, several electrolyzers designed for industrial use are currently being produced in different parts of the world. Even economically developed nations like the United States and India are investing significantly in environmentally friendly hydrogen policies. Therefore, it's only a matter of time before hydrogen becomes less polluting and more accessible financially. The emission of nitrogen oxides, often known as NOx, is a drawback associated with using a hydrogen ICE. The cost for this is the high temperatures reached when in operation. On the other hand, engineers at JCB came up with a cunning solution to get around this problem. By operating the engine on a fuel mixture that was too lean. Compared to its diesel counterpart, the energy density of hydrogen for a given mass is three times higher. Because of this, the team could attain the same values for torque without running the engine excessively. 
Selective catalytic reduction is another method for getting rid of NOx, a technique frequently used in modern diesel engines. There's no denying the viability of hydrogen-powered motors. It's only a matter of developing the necessary infrastructure, proving its durability, and gaining acceptance in the mass market. The European trucking industry is investigating hydrogen as a potential alternative to battery electric vehicles. Additionally, a large number of fueling stations are going to be opening in Germany and France. The wait and recharging times of electric trucks are quite inconvenient, and the typical truck driver cannot afford them, and it's difficult or nearly impossible to perform maintenance on them. However, the hydrogen solution offered by JCB is coming to the rescue. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and declare hydrogen engine vehicles to be the future of transportation just yet. Some factors, driving patterns, location, and infrastructure come into play when considering the implementation of hydrogen vehicles. However, because hydrogen is readily available in large quantities, it appears to be a viable option for electric vehicles, which we must not ignore. JCB's investigation into alternative power sources began with a focus on hydrogen fuel cells. However, the company soon discovered that these cells could not provide the immediate high power required for construction machinery. Instead, the company looked into the possibility of using hydrogen as fuel in combustion engines that were otherwise standard. It's a theory that has also been investigated by other businesses, such as Toyota, who even considered implementing the technology in its racing program. The engine for the JCB is now undergoing testing. It has targeted to begin production by the end of 2023, which will be used in its agricultural and construction vehicles. Meanwhile, even though burning hydrogen produces less pollution than burning fossil fuels, the technology still struggles to gain widespread acceptance. Challenges There is currently no functional distribution network for hydrogen, either in the form of pipelines or filling stations for individual customers. JCB has designed and built its own mobile fueling vehicle to meet this need. Because fuel is typically brought to machines rather than the other way around, this is an ideal solution for those who work in agriculture and construction. The generation of hydrogen still presents another challenge. It is possible to create it in an environmentally friendly way by splitting water into hydrogen through renewable electricity, which results in what is known as green hydrogen. However, a significant portion of the hydrogen available on the market today is manufactured chemically from natural gas. This process results in the discharge of hazardous carbon emissions and the creation of grey hydrogen. The efficiency of hydrogen combustion engines is another significant issue with these engines. Only about 20-25% to of hydrogen-powered vehicles are efficient, which is a disappointing figure compared to the 25-30% to efficiency of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. This is due to the significant amount of energy that is lost throughout the process of refining and delivering hydrogen fuel. Looking ahead. In general, if the world is going to reach a point where there are no net carbon emissions, almost every machine that burns fossil fuels will need to be changed over to a more environmentally friendly energy source. JCB's study over the past few years has been pursuing exactly that goal, and it's worthy of recognition. However, it's abundantly evident that other challenges need to be conquered before completely transforming agricultural machines to being environmentally friendly. Battery electric engines are not a viable alternative for machines that do laborious tasks for extended periods. In situations like these, the combustion of hydrogen might be an option. JCB is living up to their half of the bargain, but to solve the problem, the hydrogen supply needs to catch up. Do you think this technology will overthrow battery electric vehicles? Please let us know what you think in the comment section below. That's all for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.